Hi, this is Donovan Tilsley, and I'm here in the Acer Lounge with four-time Paralympic athlete and South Africa's only Paralympian, Bruce Hi, Warner. Thanks. Welcome, Bruce. Hi, thank you. Now, Bruce, you've been at this game for 12 years now. Your first Paralympic Games was in Nagano. And I'm sure the first time that you walked into that village and into the opening ceremonies, you felt an amazing energy and probably some nervousness as well. Did you feel the same way when you first arrived here? Well, um, I, yes, I do, actually, I think. <laughs> but uh, the, the overwhelming experience you described, perhaps I you know, know a little more what to expect. Um, I, I remember still clearly walking into the opening ceremony because we were, the athletes were a little removed and you couldn't really hear the inside noise and just coming in, that was really quite something. Um, but coming into Canada Place or BC Place, um, I mean, that, that was an amazing experience. That was a such, you know, such a huge um, venue and being enclosed, you know, it just keeps the noise in. I, that was awesome. <laughs> and uh, a lucky sort of coincidence for me, just as I came in, I saw my family. So that really kind of gave me a lift. That was great. Now, Bruce, another thing I know that's really changed in the past 12 years since you began competing was technology. Uh, can you give me some idea as to uh, how technology has changed uh, for you since Nagano and for the Paralympic movement as a whole? I've definitely noticed the, the progress through the Paralympics that I've been to. I remember at the, uh, the Nagano Paralympics, um, there were just four, three or four computers for every athlete to share. And, you know, I, I guess most people didn't even have email, but I was. And, like, um, where were we? Salt Lake City, we had no Wi Fi. Torino, we did. I mean, and here, we, you know, we've had the best facilities there. Are. So, I mean, that's just to sort of, um, you know, document or point out the, 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 the changes I've seen over time. But um, in terms of, of uh, coaching and how it helps athletes, that's, it's, it's tied mainly, I guess, to um, video analysis and, you know, the data you can have. And, um, you know, nowadays the coach takes the video and I put that on my laptop and then, you know, I can sit at home and analyze runs, which, you know, when I started that was, uh, you know, you unheard of. You put the tape in the, in the TV and, you know, replayed like that. So those have been big changes. So, Bruce, tell me. You've been to four Paralympic Games, you're a full-time engineer, you have a one-year-old child at home. What does the future look like for Bruce Warner? Yeah, so I, this is my last race, so I'm going to retire from racing here. I mean, I've, I've had a fantastic time and a fantastic career. Um, and, you know, with my son there, it's a good time to stop, to, you know, be able to spend more time with him, with my wife, um, and, you know, to focus on my job and, and the other things I need to do in life too. I feel it's time to be a little responsible, <laughs> not blow all my money on skiing, so yeah. Bruce, thank you for taking the time out to come and uh, speak with me today and best of luck in the rest of the games. My pleasure, yep, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.